Watch you guys, got another video here for you. This is just a quick video on fixing the error message item not found. So if you're on a Windows 10 machine and you're trying to delete a folder, just like this one here, I've got an empty folder here, I'm trying to delete it and I'm getting item not found, could not find this item. Now if you're getting that error message, then I'll show you how to fix it. It lets you access the folder, but it won't let you delete it. It's the same thing with this one here. I've got another one here. I've got content inside here, but if I try to delete that folder, I get the same error message. Now this has been common uh, with all versions of Windows, so whether you're on Windows Vista, Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, it doesn't really matter. This is the error message that you'll get, and it's quite easy to fix. So let me show you how we can do that in Windows 10. So you're gonna need to open up your command prompt, no matter what version of Windows in. Now if you're in Windows 7, obviously you can go to the run bar and type in uh, CMD. In Windows 10, we're going to come down to the Start button, right-click on it, and open up Command Prompt Admin. Say yes to the user account control. Now I need to just move these across. So here we have our Command Prompt window. Now yours may be uh, black or a different color. Doesn't really matter. So what we need to do next is change the path to this location. Okay. So we're going to do that by going cd space forward slash d and then space and then we need to go to this path. Right click on this file or folder and you'll see the path. This is the path here. We can copy this and then go back to here and right click and that will put it into here. So now we have cd space forward slash d space and that path, okay? Yours will be a different path, push enter, and it will put you in that area here. Now to see what's in this directory, we can type in here dir space forward slash x, and this will give us all the folders inside there, okay? Now you can see this one here, create a bootable live USB drive create a bootable live USB drive. You can see it there. So just remember, this is the one we need, okay? So we're gonna come down the bottom here, and now we're gonna type in our command to remove that folder here. So all we need to do is type in here, rm dir space forward slash q space forward slash s, and now we need to put in that path. And that path was create and that squiggly line and one I think that's a tilde I'm not sure but pretty sure someone will remind me and then we need to do that line and then one and that's exactly how we want it just the same as that there and then what we need to do is push enter and look over here and you'll see it disappear and there it goes. And you can do the same thing for fix USB ports not working or recognized in Windows 10. So just look for that one. There it is there, and it's fix USB tilde free. So all we need to do here now is I can push the cursor key to up, come back. So now we can use this one here. So we've got the RMDIR, and then we've got the forward slash Q and then forward slash S and then now we're looking for this one here which is the fix USB tilde free just like so and then we should see this one disappear here push enter and boom away she goes and we have another one here but I can continue that another time but that's basically how you can remove an undeletable folder using that command. Very easy to do and straightforward. Now you can use this on any version of Windows, just use that method and it should uh, work for you. Anyway, I hope this one helps you out. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date and be notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you've got any problems with your computers or video requests, then you can head, and head over to the forum and put them up over there, and I'll do my best to make those videos for you. Thanks again for watching, guys, and thanks for your continued support. Bye for now.